Hey guys, what's up? Today we're taking out Goose VPN. A VPN I've heard some good things about. However, today we're gonna check it out. See if it's really worth using. Now it's not as popular as some of the other options out there. And then limited plan is pretty pricey, around $13. Five cents more expensive than ExpressVPN, which is uh, one of the most expensive VPNs that I sometimes recommend. So guys, it does seem like they have live chat on the website, which is cool. And it is interesting that they offer a 50 gigabyte plan for $3 a month. Now 50 gigabytes isn't really a ton if you're gonna be doing everything on your internet, but it's a decent amount, um, considerably more than a free trial. Website looks okay, but some of these images right here, as you can see, are blown up too big, suggesting that this VPN might not have a lot of polish and pizzazz. So checking it out here, does give you a discount code which is cool and I actually ended up checking out and getting a free month free but unfortunately as you'll find out through the end of this review I'm not even sure that was worth my time so I went ahead and downloaded the application after checking out everything went pretty well there logging in was pretty simple as well using the same credentials that I used to log in and create an account on the website which I like I don't really like VPNs that give you separate emails for different logins or Super case sensitive um, log logins and stuff like that can be confusing. Goose VPN, no problems so far. Now checking out the servers, uh, they do have some limited options here. Not a ton of servers available around the world, but you can kind of customize which one you want to connect to in the settings. And it is cool to see that they do have streaming options. Now um, settings are a little bit briefer than some other full-fledged VPNs that I've tested out in my top tier rankings like TorGuard, Private Internet Access, and maybe IP Vanish. However, settings here are pretty competent and pretty good with kill switches, um, auto-connect features, the ability to change your protocol, and so on. However, you're not going to have some advanced things like changing your encryption rate or perhaps um, some obfuscation techniques that can hide your VPN use. Keep that in mind guys when you're checking out Goose VPN, but overall it's a decent looking app. A little orange and a little color scheme is a little tacky and maybe the text doesn't pop enough, but overall it's not the worst app I've ever seen from a VPN. But now guys, really the kicker here is that I couldn't get Goose VPN to work. Now I really wanted to go over all the things about Goose VPN I liked before nailing it in the coffin. But guys, I just couldn't get it to work or connect at all. Um, this resulted in me trying a few different servers, restarting my computer, quitting and exiting Goose VPN. But no matter what I did, I encountered IP errors as you see here. So guys, Goose VPN might not be worth checking out at all due to that me not being able to get it to work and suggesting that you also might have similar issues. But guys, there are a lot of VPNs out there that work 100% of the time. Some VPNs like NordVPN work sometimes and sometimes not. But I would suggest going for a VPN that you know is going to work 100% of the time. Anyways guys, my name is Tom Spark and I'll see you again on the next one.